Alright boys, it's the 23rd day of February, Friday, about 9.06 a.m. We got the old day is 2, I hear version 200 with a 9 inch call. Now the 11 inch call, you'll see a lot of this performance, behavior, using it as well. We'll give you a few demonstrations here and I'm going to make a few comments before I start because one gentleman has asked a question in my latest, one of my latest videos. Now this applies to even the MindLab Equinox, what I'm going to say here, in a sense now. The day is two. Your silencer setting will drive how I do, uh, iron IDs, ferrous IDs. All right? So a nail could ID differently depending on which program and what silencer setting you use. So if you decide to use what sharpshooter is going to try here, just be mindful of that. Because you may decide to use a different program and a different silencer setting. Okay? <clears throat> We're going to use a sensitive program in this video. And we're going to use five tones in bow. Silencer of one. And we're going to use a sensitive program that I've saved with a zero disc. Five tones. Silencer of two. Okay. Now, silencer one. You know, you get it in your head, okay, well, it's going to unmask a little better. But, you know, there's some there's some slight disadvantages, you know, that could come into play there. You know, some iron may sound better versus silencer too. But that's what I'm going to show on this video. Okay, now, in this program that I have made up, I've notched out 03308. That's where... A lot of your iron is going to read, okay? So I've notched the iron range. A lot of your iron is going to read on this machine. Three, four, five, and maybe six. But I notched it to eight. Okay? Now we're going to use a silver ring. You see it there. Silver ring and a gold ring. Smaller gold ring and that silver ring. You know, it's sort of sizable. We're going to use a piece of wire and we're going to use that modern nail. We're going to look at both elevated, the nail and wire elevated, as well as on the same plane. Both could happen in the wild. So what I'm going to show you here is running this machine more traditional. You could literally be missing step in the wild. And I'll just use the sports field here because sports fields are probably not littered with monster loads of iron okay and remember you do get a rotate on any target that you find suspicious to verify see if it meets your expectations to recover you never have to dig a target when you locate a suspicious target with a metal detector that's on you the detector's not going to dig it for you you choose to dig it okay Okay, so we've got this go ring and this nail here. We'll just start off here first. This is the program here that I have made. Alright, so you're in the wild. You hear that and you see that ID? Now, I can't come straight over that target. But I am able to hear that? So if I'm in the wild in a sports field and I heard that, I might get curious and rotate. You hear that? That would be a challenge target. A target that could be missed by a lot of other detectors running a lot of other machines. Including the Mighty Deus 2. So I'm going to toggle back. Here's the system program that I showed you. What does it do? Even cheating the call out here where I was getting signal. Hear that iron tone? 
So you would miss that target in all likelihood coming from this angle with this program currently I'm showing. Okay. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to move the nail down to the same plane. Okay, now this can happen in the wild as well. Okay, now here is the sensitive program with a 6.8 disc. Even cheating the coal, iron tone. You would miss that target in all likelihood. Why would you stop on that? Unless you just heard an iron tone and you decided, you know, to rotate. Alright? Now here's the program that I made up. You hear that? Look at that meter. That's a no-brainer, huh? Oh, I better rotate on that. That might be a that could be a non-ferrous target being mashed with a nail. Look at that. Naturally, if we rotate on it, we get more traditional reporting. Okay. Okay, now the same go ring with the wire elevated. Okay, this is the program that I made. If we rotate on that, we'll get more traditional reporting. Sensitive program. You hear that? A lot of that iron tone in there, okay? Now, let's trade this out for that silver ring there. Right. Now, this is sensitive program. Pretty shoddy, huh? Back to the program that I made. You hear that? Hear it hitting that? Alright. Let's put this old nail up here. It's a silver ring. This is the program that I made. You hear that? If we turn on this. Hear that? Sensitive program. Hear that? You would miss that probably, huh? From that angle of detection, sweeping that coil. Now the nail is on the same plane. This could be two inches deep in a spore field. It could have been lost six months ago. It could have been lost two weeks ago. Maybe it fell on a nail huh, with a nail bite. Who knows? Sensitive program. You hear that? Not very good, huh? The program that I made. You hear that? Which one you like to sound of better? See that see that idea in that window? Sensitive program. Two inches above that with a coil. This could net you some fines in some places, especially hard hunted sites. You know, I mean, you know, you get a sports field, you know, it's sort of hard to grid it. Bigger areas, you know, there could be a nice find out there lurking, you know, and people have been out there with JS2s, JS1s, Equinoxes, a lot of other machines. They've come across that silver ring like such, or that gold ring like such, okay? Just a, just a few inches deep, or basically maybe up close to the surface. That's a sensitive program on that gold ring. Listen to that. Two inches above it with that coil. The program that I made. You hear that? So you go to a sports field, you know, well, maybe you ain't finding much, and you're running a machine more traditional, okay. It's not going to hurt you to run it like this. You get to rotate. You see, I'm rotating. Look at that. I'm rotated. And solo setting targets, you know, if I take the nail off of here, if I take the nail off of here running this program, okay, See that? You still get traditional performance. 
Solo City, go Rings. You still get to hear them. So just a little added feature there, you know, that could sneak a find out for you. Well, let's just put it this way. Let me let me summarize how I feel about this. If I went to a sports field and spent three hours detecting, and I ran this machine traditionally, versus how I'm showing you here. When I walk out of that sports field for the areas I covered with my coil, I'd feel a whole lot better as far as my detecting efficiency of what I found or didn't find versus running this machine traditionally. Okay? So you get a little added bonus performance here to locate targets should you choose to use. I mean, you could always go back and grid a sight. Okay? But it's going to be all up to you. All Sharpshooter does is shares data. Okay? That's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed.